What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, ladies, y'all go ahead and sit on the bench today. I'm here to talk about Diddy. Let's get into it. Y'all see the headline here, ladies and gents. Y'all see the headline. Oh, snap. Diddy just launched a way for us to buy everything black. Who's believing this? Who? Who's really believing this? Who really believes that Diddy is here to help out black people? Oh, you believe he's here to help black people? To you that believe that he's here to help black people, who's the most? Matter of fact, not even who's the most. How many successful artists have been on Bad Boy that you know of? I'll wait. Give y'all a minute to ponder that. How many successful black artists has Diddy had on Bad Boy? How many artists on Bad Boy do you know that have come out and say that Diddy has whooped them? Hasn't given them their royalties. Haven't given them what they want. Pretty much cheated them out of deals. Gave them 360 deals. How is he here to help black people? And if so, why now? Why now? Black people out there, the ones that think that Diddy is here to save you and help you with uh, buying everything back black and creating own black businesses. Stop falling for the banana and the tailpipe. Stop falling for it. Diddy is here to help nobody accept himself. Diddy is only here to keep himself rich. Not here to help out black companies. Not, not here to help out black businesses. Let's talk about this real quick. He's currently going through a thing with the liquor company that he was part, uh, 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 part of or who have partnered up with him. They currently dropped him. The first thing that he wants to scream out is racism. Diddy, if it's, if it's true what they're saying in Forbes and all these other sites, you're a billionaire. Where did racism stop you at when you're a billionaire? I'll wait because there's too many blind people out there and people with their mind laws that think that for some reason everything is racist. So how did racism stop him? The liquor company dropped him and doesn't want to partner up with him anymore due to their own unforeseen circumstances. And the first thing he wants to do is scream racism. Now, one thing he said that was racist that the liquor company tried to do was create a watermelon flavored liquor brand that was going to be possibly promoted by him if it would have went through. And he feels that's racism to the black people out there. How many of you dumb niggas out there eat watermelon? How many of y'all out there eat chicken? How many of y'all out there eat pork chops? How many of y'all out there eat soul food? Stop comparing black foods or white foods or whatever kind of foods that are out there. Stop comparing food that black people mainly eat with racism. Y'all are the type of people that will feel that if they give children Kool-Aid in school, y'all want to make it a problem. The same dumb niggas that will sit at their house and make a whole pitcher of Kool-Aid with a gallon of sugar in it. But if they give that to y'all kids at school... Oh my God, that school is racist. They gave our chick, uh, they gave our kids uh, Kool Aid. They gave our kids fried chicken for Black History Month. So fucking what? Y'all eat chicken, right? Y'all drink Kool Aid, right? Y'all like watermelon flavored candy, right? Y'all do eat watermelon at barbecues, right? Stop fucking complaining all the time. Let's get back into the article. I'm gonna get right to it now. Empower Global is Diddy's new e-commerce platform designed to make it easier for consumers to purchase products exclusively created by black entrepreneurs. Easy launches today with over 70 brands and over 1,000 products representing the best in black owned beauty, fashion and lifestyle, including Silver and Riley, Actively Black, 
Butter and Skin and Coco Breeze, uh, Coco and Breezy R. The company plans to introduce new brands every month and grow the site to over 200 brands by the end of the year. You know, I don't, you know why I personally don't trust stuff like this? Because they steal your ideals. And I know some of y'all out there can feel me. It reminds me of A&R's back in the days. Do y'all remember about A&R's back in the days? They will try to discover new artists, come listen to your music. You possibly could end up hearing that music on the radio one day and be like, yo, I'm the one that came up with that kind of jingle. I'm the one that came up with that kind of sound. But they have another artist pretty much copying my style. That's what this reminds me of. And everything that's black owned, just because it's black owned doesn't mean it's great. To the black owners out there, by all means, do your thing. Much respect. But stop telling me when I come into your business that you're the first black owned. Or yeah, we're black owned. I don't give a shit about that. You know what I care about? Is your service good? Is your business good? Do you stand down principles with your business? Is customer service extraordin extraordinaire? Is it great? I don't care if it's the first black owned. I don't care if you're black owned. I want great service. I want people with a good attitude when I come into your business. I'm so tired of hearing that all the time. Y'all try to make a sale to black people just because it's black owned. That doesn't attract me. Maybe when I was in my teens, it might would have. But now that I'm an adult, that doesn't attract me anymore. How's the service, ma'am? Because I've been going to some black owned restaurants in my city. And they want to scream, oh, it's black owned. And the food tastes like shit. It tastes like straight up shit. Miss me with the old is black owned type stuff. I want good service. That's what I want. Back to the article. And to make the deal even sweeter, Empower Global is working with UPS to offer special deals and shipping rates to select products with the Days Off Deal Initiative. My mission has always been to empower black entrepreneurs and create more opportunities for them to access the resources, tools, and support they need to build successful businesses, Combs said in a statement announcing the launch of the platform. Empower Global will uplift black entrepreneurs, keep dollars flowing in our community, and make shopping black a way of life. What the fuck is shopping black? I'll wait. If there is a such thing as shopping black, would people that are black mad if somebody came out and say, um, we're going to make shopping white a way of life, shopping Asian a way of life, shopping Latino a way of life? What is the way of shopping black? I'm so tired of hearing this type of stuff. It's ignorant and people need to stop thinking that this is where success makes you a, 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 a this is what makes you a better person or this is the uh, ideal success right here because you're shopping black i always say that black people sometimes you don't even understand it but you could be the most racist person out there and you don't even know it you're out there screaming black lives matter but if somebody screams white lives matter you want to claim that they're a kkk member am i lying if somebody walked around you right now with a White Lives Matter shirt on, you would say they're a Trump supporter or you would say that they're a KKK member. Stop with this crazy thinking that y'all got. Just stop with it. Stop. It's ignorant. And I don't believe that any, I don't believe for one second, anything that Diddy does is not to help black people succeed. It's to make himself succeed because if that was the case you would at least see one successful rapper or entrepreneur from bad boy records and you have never seen one 80 percent of the people that i've seen that have been on bad boy they have always had a complaint always diddy isn't trying to make no one successful except himself and i hope y'all don't fall for this banana in the tailpipe trick anyways that's my video for today if you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, 
I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.